Hello developers, today we are going to build an interactive AR tutor app. By the end of this video, you will have a working model that you can customize and use in your own projects. The AR tutor app is an educational app that uses augmented reality technology to provide interactive learning experience for students. The app allows users to learn about different animals or plants by placing them in the virtual world where they can interact with them and learn more about their characteristics. The app uses augmented reality technology to overlay 3D objects into real-world images and videos. You will also build a similar AR solution today. We'll be using a candy kit to build this solution. Now what is a candy kit? Candy one-click install kit gives you ready to deploy solution with a complete source code. You can access many more such ready to use candy kits on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain, gaming and many more on candy. Today we'll be using a popular candy kit which is AR Tutor app one click install kit. Now this kit is open source and comes with a permissive license that means you can freely edit, customize and share your own solution. Let's get started then. Over to you Rajeshwari for the hands on walkthrough. Hello everyone, hope you all are excited to build your own ER Tutor application. To build this ER Tutor application, you will be required the followings. Initially, we need to install the A-Frame dependencies where this application is built with A-Frame technologies. And you will be required some basic knowledge of A-Assets, A-Scene, A-Camera tags. And then come up with the 3D models which we are going to interact with this learning application. And finally, pick a development environment of your choice to develop and debug the code. Everything you need is already available in the candy kit. Let's get started by installing the candy kit. Check the description for the link to be installable. It will navigate you to the respective candy kit page. And here you could see this download one click installer button. While clicking this button, this will set up a working sandbox application with all needed prerequisites and resources. You can follow this kit deployment instruction for the installation process. And then you can have a glance on the libraries added in the below session, which will be very helpful in exploring the application. Now take a pause on the video, complete the installation process and hit the resume button. We'll jump into the development of the code. Great. Hope you are all set. If you have successfully set up the installation process, you will see the page like this. Just click on the start button and allow the browser to access your camera. After giving access to the camera, be ready with the marker. For this particular application, I'm using this G marker. Instead of this G marker, we can also use some standardized markers like hero marker and kanji marker. Now take a printout of this G marker and place them in front of the camera to experience the visualization of 3D models. L for lion. N for nest. O for octopus, T for telescope, U for umbrella, B for van, W for whale, X for Christmas, Y for yoke, Z for zebra. We can import the project in the respective IDE, add all the required dependencies under the script pack. This aframe.min.js allows us to use all the aframe technologies. Coming to this body tag, you can add your own title and style as per your requirements. Once this is done, then we, we should initiate this ASIN. This ASIN is a global root object and all entities are contained within this scene. This ASIN inherits from all entities class, which also responsible to inherit all the properties, methods and helps the child node to loop before the renders. Once the scene gets rendered, we can add all the 3D models under this A asset items. Once the 3D models are attached under this A asset item, we can initiate our marker. We can add all the marker requirements under this A marker tag. Once marker added, then we should initiate the camera in the entity. If you want to trap the application, then we could use this Google Tag Manager for trapping purpose. And this is how this AR Tutor application is rendered. Coming to customization, we can customize the application with our own 3D models. And this is the 3D model I'm going to use for this application. Just add your 3D models under this asset tag and change the respective path in this index.html file and restart the server, it gets customized. Here you could see this customized 3D model as an output. 
Congratulations, now you have your own customized AR Tutor application. Hope you found this session useful. You can find the link to the AR Tutor app kit and many more such ready to deploy kits in the description below. Head over to Candy to build incredible projects on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain, gaming and many more. Try out Candy Kits now. Hit that subscribe button and join us at the OpenViewer community of developers to learn more and build many more incredible projects. Thank you for watching this session. Till the next one, bye-bye.